Hi everyone, Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And today we'll have a short but really concentrated video of some work that's going down on our second platform, or if you want to call it also the fifth deck. Alright, so we are five decks down from the main deck, also known as the second platform. And we are standing in gun plot right now. Uh, this is part of uh, the Little Rock that you don't normally see. Uh, but it's on the curator tour, all right? So if you're interested in taking a curator tour, uh, you could check our website. You definitely go into some spaces that you don't normally see. I had a couple of guys that came on the curator tour. They're from uh, the Buffalo, Western New York area, and they have a really great passion for not only Cleveland-class cruisers, but Galveston-class, which is what the USS Little Rock is. And... We've partnered up, and they're actually helping the Naval Park and myself clean up the gun plot and the CIC area. So we were, we started discussing after some of the curator tours. Again, they have a lot of passion for uh, the Navy and just lifelong passion. And uh, they said, hey, what can we do to help clean up the gun plot and clean up CIC a little bit? So... Uh, I'm going to introduce them and they can talk a little bit about how they got connected and how they're helping today. So again, uh, gun plot area and we can already see uh, the gun plot for the 5 inch uh, has been cleaned up much more uh, cleaner than it was before. All right. And here are the guys. We have Brian right here and Coming around here, we have John, and we also have Carl. So guys, uh, just give us a quick uh, rundown of what brought you on board and how you're sharing your passion with the Buffalo Naval Park. Well, uh, I started out coming here in the 70s when the ships first arrived. My mom and dad uh, fostered my interest in hobbies like that. And all my life I've been watching the changes when they move the ships and I come here all the time. So I figured, well, finally I'm getting to a point in my life where uh, I don't have uh, the responsibilities at home that I had in my younger days. I've got a little bit of free time on my hands now for uh, weekends or days off. And I thought, well, what could I do that uh, I think would make a difference? And when Shane started the uh, curator tours, uh, brought us down here, some of the other spaces that you don't normally see on the regular uh, public tour. Uh, I noticed that the uh, plot rooms were pretty well intact. There's some missing equipment, but a lot of it is still here. It's just dirty. And I thought, well, uh, maybe if I could get some guys to help me, we could get it cleaned up and at least maybe not fully restored, but presentable to the public where when the customers come down here, they're not bumping elbows and getting dirty, and they can see the, the wording and the displays better. And uh, these two guys decided Excellent. they would come and help. So who do we have here as well? So I'm John. Hey, been John. I've been to the Naval Park since I was a little kid. I've always been interested in it. Uh, both my grandfathers were in World War II in the Navy, so kind of like a little bit of a connection to come on ships and stuff like that. Um, do you know what they served aboard? Uh, my grandfather was on the commissioning crew of the USS uh, Roosevelt Aircraft Carrier. All right. And, uh, but... Uh, I, I too went to the curator tour and it really sparked my interest. I had been thinking for a while of ways that I could volunteer to help out. And, you know, I might not be, you know, real mechanical, but I got elbow grease. And that, you know, probably goes further than that. Excellent. Uh, just to figure a way I could help. Thank you. Carl? I'm uh, Carl Motter, retired from the Navy, uh, Navy Reserves, 1975 to uh, 1996. My son Mike used to work here as a docent, so he introduced me to the USS Little Rock guys. Two of the fellows I served with in the Navy are uh, veterans of the USS Little Rock, so I thought this was a good way to to give back to, in their memory. And uh, we've been my, my son Mike and I have been working with the Little Rock Association every May during the work party, mm -hmm. and uh, we weren't able to do it during COVID, but I thought this was a good Excellent. chance to come back and help uh, get the ship up and running. And, and was that your up. ship on your T-shirt there? I was on two different aircraft carriers uh, with Helicopter Squadron uh, HS-15. I was on the uh, USS America and then the uh, USS Independence. Nice. And then I retired from uh, flying in uh, P-3 Orion patrol planes. Thank you for your sacrifices, you. Carl. Thank it's you. fabulous. And thank you for being here, all of you. So we've started in the gun plot on the second platform. 
but you're also going to do some work in CIC as well, right? Yeah, we'd like to get up there. Um, it's a slow go because there's a lot of small, busy work to do, cleaning everything, Carl's vacuuming. Uh, the two of us are just wiping down the silt that came in when the ship flooded. And it, it isn't uh, very rusty, it's just dirty, and it just needs a lot of little spot work to keep going. So. The goal would be to start at the bottom here, make this presentable, at least safer mm -hmm. for the customers, and then work our way up there. But um, that's a little bit larger space, and I think that might take a, a couple extra days to get that done, but we'll get there. Well, we can't thank you, the three of you enough, Brian, Carl, and John. Thank you so very much, and uh, thank you for watching. And when if you come on the Curator Tour... Brian was just mentioning why this compartment was flooded, and you will learn that uh, when you come aboard for the Curator Tour. So we can't thank these three guys enough. They're spending a Saturday with us, and they'll probably come back for some other Saturdays. Uh, we're heading, yeah, summer's kind of winding down, so it gives people a little more time. Just not on a Sunday when the Bills are playing, right? Okay. But... Uh, if you're interested in volunteering, please reach out to us as well. We love the passion that these three gentlemen are bringing and their drive and desire to help the Buffalo Naval Park uh, look be better for our visitors and customers. So we'll see you again, and I hope you enjoyed this video.